Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube site. The sun is shining here in Brussels and it looks like spring is well and truly with us. I wanted to take this opportunity to give viewers an update on my campaign against the BNB. Many thanks for all of you who have left comments on my site, particularly those that have offered support for my campaign. But I also wanted to thank the others, those commenters who left vicious and hateful comments. You have done more to demonstrate the true nature of the BMP support than I ever could. If ever proof were needed of the ugly face of the far right, then these comments are there for all to see. I am here today to answer some of the viewers and to show that no amount of racist bully boy taunting can ever win a debate. Because I have always fought for the right to free speech, I have never once called for the BMP to be outlawed. Far from it, the British National Party supporters' reaction to my video just goes to prove my point. Racism is best fought when it's out in the open, where its ludicrous arguments can be exposed and countered. Let's take a look for a moment at some of the things the BNP claim to want. What policies does this party have in place to best represent the interests of the West Midlands or the UK on the international stage? What, for instance, is the BNP's answer to the economic crisis? Their answer is to hijack a protest by decent men and women and claim that their far arguments are representative of working people. I spoke to those on the picket line during the Lindsay Oil workers dispute who told me that the BMP hijackers had no support. Whatever they claim, this was the true voice of the working class Britain where people believe in tolerance and fair play for all including, I might add, the Italian workers caught up in the centre of the dispute. The British working class has one of the highest levels of mixed marriages in the world. The BMP says that they represent these people, but in fact the only thing they represent is their own narrow interest, their own divisive ideology. Consider also what BMP success would mean for our industry. People from across the world have told me that the vital investors we need during this downturn would be put off by the kind of politics the BMP present should they win in the European elections on the June the 4th. When the BMP tell you they are true patriots, ask them what their patriotism means because the BMP success in the June elections will be a disaster for our economy our international standing and for our working class. If they love their country so much, why do they want to do it so much harm? The BMP aren't marginalised because mainstream politics is hiding from the debates that need to be had. The BMP are marginalised because, as they like to remind us, we live in a democracy. The simple fact is that we, as proud British people, don't want BMP and their hateful politics soiling the history and traditions of United Kingdom. Because being British is not about race or religion, it is about respect for the values of tolerance, fairness, freedom of speech and belief that this country should be involved in the world, not shunned by it. Being British means believing in Great Britain. Don't let the BNP ruin our country. Join my campaign at www.ninagill.eu. On June the 4th, you have a choice. Take part in the European elections.